Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, uh, today I wanted to show you an error I ran into and uh, I had to go out and find the answer, so I thought I should share it with you. Um, I was on this uh, Excel 2007 um, or greater spreadsheet and you'll notice if I do control down arrow, you see I have over 1 million rows. 1 million, uh, let's see, 48,576. So what I tried to do is I tried to right click on this uh, tab. So I right clicked on it and I selected move or copy. Now when I move or copy this spreadsheet, I wanted to just send it to a new blank workbook that I had created. Oh, and let's just create a copy right after that. And when I did that, look at that, I got this error here. Excel cannot insert the sheets into the destination workbook because it contains fewer rows or columns than the source workbook. Uh, to move the copy um, of the data destination workbook, you can select the data, then use the copy paste command to insert the sheets uh, of another workbook. So I don't really want to do that. I don't want to move or copy the data. Um, I don't want to select the data and then use copy paste commands. I've got a million rows, so um, I, I just want the whole sheet. I want to make sure everything's in there, like uh, uh, anything that I may have. So I want to move this entire sheet. So I, I went to uh, out there and found out on the web that um, what I needed to do is I needed to go to my destination workbook. And let's see, let me go to my destination workbook and you'll notice that it only has 65,536 rows. That's because I'm typically default saving things into an Excel 2003 format, which only has 65,000 rows, not a million. And so uh, I can't copy that larger million uh, line spreadsheet into or worksheet into this workbook because it's only set up for 65,000 rows. So uh, I thought, okay, well, let me go up and do, um, uh, a file save as and so I'm going to go ahead and do a file save as just uh, oh anywhere let's go ahead and do it in here and we will call it um, test workbook and you'll notice that I've got it set up as Excel 97 2003 workbook I'm just gonna pick the very top one Excel workbook and hit save um, Excel does its saving magic. I come back in here and I look and lo and behold, I still have 65,000 rows. And I was like, why? I just saved it as a 2007 spreadsheet. Why am I only getting 65,000 rows? Um, the trick is, is you need to close your workbook. And then if you reopen your workbook, lo and behold, look at this. That new workbook, the one called Test Workbook, now is a million. So you have to actually close, change the uh, type of file to an Excel workbook. Uh, then you need to save it and then close and reopen it. Once you reopen it, it will have the million rows that you're looking for. I could now then copy and paste uh, this workbook into that other workbook. So if I do move or copy, and I say I want to move it into this test workbook one, and let's just call it create a copy. Lo and behold, did it just perfectly, but um, only after I had those one million rows. So if you're ever running into this problem, remember what you need to do is change the file type from the Excel 97 to 2003 type to just the um, new type of Excel workbook.slx. And uh, you will have, once you close and reopen it, you will have over one million rows. Uh, so once again, uh, thanks for visiting my uh, video channel. Uh, if you like what you see, please make sure you subscribe as a video channel user. Uh, and also visit my blog where you're going to see other great posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Thank you.